Yo, blow the whistle. What is he doing? He's giving him another chance. It's, not, it's 97 minutes now. Yes. Yes. It's over. It is all over. Chelsea are in the mud. Another loss for Grand Potter. This is third in a row now. The disappointment continues for Chelsea, but it's a big, big result for Fulham. 2-1 winners. 2-1 winners. Massive, massive win by uh, Fulham. Congratulations to Fulham, man. Vinicius with the winning goal. Uh, the first goal actually came from Willian. Uh, Willian opened the scoring in this match. And then Chelsea got back in the second half through um, Kulubali. And after that, after that, Ja Felix got sent off. I mean, a silly, silly foul. Ja Felix had a very good game in this match. But a silly foul probably cost Chelsea three points today because they were looking like they were going to get the win. But when Ja Felix got sent off, the game just turned on his head. And Vinicius with the, with the winner, with the second goal of this game, and it, it turned out to be the winning goal of this game. Wow. Just wow. But Chelsea, what? where do they go after this? I mean, what do they do after this? Grand Potter here, I'm seeing him. He's applauding the fans. But where do they go from here? I think he needs to go. He's had enough time to make a change in this team. He's had enough time to come up with a play to show us some patterns of play. For Chelsea but we have not seen it every single player is now struggling even more than uh, the time when Thomas Soho was in charge so I really really believe that Grand Potter is not the answer for Chelsea but hey what do I know I'm not a Chelsea fan I'm just giving you my opinion let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about this game who was your man of the match do you think uh, Grand Potter should stay uh, just stay as a coach or as a manager for Chelsea. Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections. But thanks a lot again for everybody for tuning in and watching this game with us. And that is it. I am out. Thanks again. Peace.